guys, what's up? Toby here with another 30 Seconds to Mars guitar tutorial. Today we're going to be learning Alibi. Incredibly beautiful, simple song. Uh, we're going to be doing it on acoustic guitar. Quickly set up, standard tuning, capo on the first fret. Uh, the song uses only four chords, uh, mainly two, and then it adds a couple of two in here and there. The chords are here, 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 and here and also two very simple riffs that vary um, they occur twice in the song well the first one then the second one obviously um, uh, but very very easy very very simple uh, when Jared plays it live just to clarify uh, cap on the first fret this is because we're doing it to the studio album version when it's live I think he plays it half a step or even a full step down um, so just take the cap off or even put it higher to like maybe here just depends on how you sing uh, along to it but uh, yeah as I say very easy simple song so let's get going and learn how to play alibi okay so as I say very simple four chords uh, the way we're going to be doing it is we're going to be starting off with an E major uh, the way you're going to do it is you're going to use your middle finger put that on the I'm going to be talking relative to the capo as well so even though this is the first fret I'm going to be referring to the second fret as the first fret because we're imagining this is zero or open. So your middle finger on the third string, first fret, then these two fingers will go on the second fret of the fourth and fifth string here. And the rest of the strings will be playing open for an E major, and this is what you'll get. The strumming pattern is down, is down up. And then down up quick. So if we do that again. Then you're going to switch to the next chord, which is an A4, which is leave your middle finger where it is, um, even though it's not going to be playing anything, uh, it just makes it easier for the transition. It means you don't have to keep actually taking your finger off and putting it back on all the time. So what you're going to do is move, all you're going to do is move these two fingers down to, instead of it being on the 5th and 4th string, it's going to be on the 4th and 3rd string, leaving everything else open. So this 1st, 2nd and 5th string will be open, and here the 3rd and 4th string are going to be on the 2nd fret. And then back to the E major. That's it really, that's pretty much all there is. Then uh, all you're gonna do is, uh, every now and then, you'll, you'll know when it happens. Uh, you'll be able to hear is a C sharp, which is the basic power chord shape uh, on, again, relative here, which will be the fourth fret. And you're gonna be doing it on from the fifth string. Fifth string here on the fourth fret, then the sixth fret for the third and fourth string there. And playing that open as well. Sliding down to the second fret, remember relative to the capo. And then back to the E major. So just that bit again, it's again the same strumming pattern. There you go, there's the chords. That's pretty much all you're going to need really, unless uh, if you're going to sing with it, that's all you need. But I'm going to show you the riff now just as well in case you want to learn. Cause... Okay, so the riff is based off, you're only going to be using, there's two ways to do it really. You could use the second string, which is easier, but sometimes I find that sliding up on this just this string, uh, it makes a nice, much nicer sound. So I'm going to be demonstrating using just the, uh, third and fourth string. So you're going to start on the fourth fret, sorry it tricks me out, <laughs> fourth fret of the third string and you're going to go one, two, three, down to the second fret, then the first, so there we go, do that again, back up to the second, let's try that again. So all together we have. This 
This is for the uh, first riff, by the way, which comes after the first chorus of I Fell Apart. Then after that time, you're going to go again. Then go to the second fret of the fourth string, second fret of the third string, first fret, fourth fret of the fourth string, back to the second fret of the fourth string. So that last bit is. All together, this riff is. Now the second riff is pretty much exactly the same. Um, for the starting bit, you're going to go. Then back up to the 4th fret of the 3rd string, slide up to the 6th the fret, then all the way down to the 1st fret. So, so far we're together in the 2nd riff we have... Then you're going to repeat that 1st bit again. Go to the 2nd fret of the 4th string and slide up to the 4th fret. Go to the 3rd string and do the same, so slide from the 1st fret to the 2nd. That bit there is... Slide from the 2nd to the 1st to the 2nd. Back to the 1st fret. And then back up to where you started off, which is on the 4th fret. That last bit together is all together. This riff is guys that's alibi by 30 seconds to mars just to clarify quickly um i don't think i mentioned the second riff you play just uh, you play before uh, the verse that begins with so here we are the witching hour that's when you play that second riff there um as i say beautiful beautiful song very simple the four chords uh put diagrams in the video as well just to make things clearer and uh, if you have any more suggestions for any songs you'd love to learn any 30 Seconds to Mars songs, You Me at Six songs, All Time Low songs, uh, especially I'm, I know them inside out, um, just let me know and uh, keep practicing, keep playing. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, oh, and if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It would be absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys have been doing amazing, supporting us so far. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Blah.